this is oh hello. These are tech tights, by the way. I need bombs. Let's kill some levers. I was about to say I should be able to uh, block those. So here's our second heart container. So now we have six. So now we definitely can get the white sword. I think we only need five to get it, but I could be wrong. There is another secret here. And this is your first of three 100s. Now there are only two 100s on the second quest. There is also... I gotta try to figure out which one it is. It should only be 10. Indeed it is. Now you don't want to waste too, too much more than that. Um, burning bushes and stuff. Because the second palace is actually one of the biggest castles for money in the game. Because of the enemies that are in it. Stupid moblins. Give me that heart. have a second one anymore. It broke. Oh, it just stopped working. So here's the second castle, or second level, the moon. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take my time and explore all the dungeons for you guys so you can see them. These are ropes. And these are usually a pretty good source of coin, but they didn't drop squat there. Hello. Jeez. Oh! See, that's what happens when I get dumb. Let's go in here. The compass should be in here. Gels. Trying to avoid them as best I can because these things are so unpredictable. But you have to be careful. You can actually bomb through the wall there uh, at the top. But there's no point for me to do that right now. Wow, these ropes are not giving me money. actually going to pull out the bombs because they'll come in handy in a bit. Now, some of the rooms in the game, usually when there's a larger amount of them, of enemies, there is what they call the uh, leader of the pack, or the master of the room, and when you kill him, as you see there, the other guy died, well they all would die because he dies. They're a bunch of cowards. Here's the map, and you can see it looks so uh, it resembles a moon pretty well. I prefer to kill everything. Get a lot of keys in the game for doing that, and also <laughs> anyway, this is the room that I was referring to. I don't know what I was talking about, though. I was referring to a room that I don't even know that I was talking about. You can block these, by the way, with the shield. And now we have the magical boomerang. That's what we picked up. It's a mold arm. Just weaken it a little with some bombs. Because I'm lazy. And we get another key. Since there were bombs in there already, there's actually no point in killing all the enemies because nothing else can drop in a room if there was already something on the floor there. Oh, the patented Zelda lag. 
Usually these guys do not drop a lot of hearts. I didn't want to go in here, but... I might as well. It's actually a waste of a key. Now this is going to tell me that the Dongo dislikes smoke. Thanks, buddy. So we're just going to go right through the wall here. Into a room with a bunch of Gorias. There. Catch. Now what he means by the Dongo dislike smoke is if you blow a bomb up... Well, that was maybe a little too far. I mean, you stupid thing. Alright, you know what? Just put him in his mouth. But if you blow it up close to him, he'll get stunned and you can just smack him with the sword and kill him. So that's the moon completed. Yeah, drinking some coffee. <laughs> the good stuff that life is made out of. So the blue Octoroks can drop bombs, just so you know. Okay, there is another Moblin secret over here, so let's go get that. Oh, no, it's not there. I think it's down and over. And a fairy. Nope, not over this way. Okay, I'm getting my butt handed to me here. There should be a shop around here, too, that I can buy arrows at. Yeah, right here. Let's get them. Buy some, will ya? Please. Alright, so... Actually, this wasn't where I wanted to go, but... It's actually wasn't a bad idea to get the arrows now, because I'm gonna pick up another 100. Oh, I didn't see this side over here. Like, this is what I was looking for before, by the way. Let's touch the Armos. Get in there, Link. This one's only worth 10. Haha. <laughs> that was too funny. And then there's another one here. I want to stand away from the Armos, because some of them are quicker than others. 152, that's not too bad. Unfortunately, there is actually another one there. But I'm not going to get that just yet. I'm going to get the 100 over here. Along with the letter. Show this to the old woman. It's their divorce papers. That's what I used to call it when I was younger, yes. Don't ask me why. I just thought it was kind of funny that the old man and old woman didn't live together in a cave, so... I assumed they were having marital problems. So here's a secret, more than likely, what the guy's referring to in that first dungeon. Get away from me. These are pea hats, by the way. Stupid enemies that get in your way. So there's a little wasted rupee inch here. Because you can only hold 255, but it's good enough. There is actually another Moblin secret, which we'll probably pick up on the way when we go to uh, Dungeon 5. We're actually going to go into Death Mountain, or I guess that's what this is called. There's another rupee secret there, but we don't want to get that just yet because we have no room. And here's another heart container. There's only two more left that are outside of dungeons. Haha. -ha. So let's go up here real quick. There's also one of those armos. You can. Uh, there's a passage under it, and there's somebody who tells you some useless. So let's go up here. This is a Lionel. Oh my god. I didn't 
expect him to hit me and uh, do that much damage, actually. I thought they only did two hearts of damage when you uh, got hit with a beam. So anyway, that was all I know. We killed it. That was the white sword that we just got. Second of three. And we're gonna go get the blue ring because we have so much money. Now the Zolas, which is the thing I just killed in the water, are actually usually good for getting money. I mean, uh, life if you need it, so... I do need it, but they're not dropping it today. Might as well. Let's go around him. There's also a cave right here I should show you what's in here. <laughs> 